Here we're going to talk about DVTEL's advanced mapping application with the Google Earth plugin. And we'll go into the simple setup and configuration by going to the admin center, select a logical view, select a camera that you want to populate into your uh, Google map. Then by scrolling down at the very bottom here, you have a tab that enables global positioning, putting in a latitude, longitude, and altitude, populates the Google map with that camera. We go ahead and save that, right click, and we can add a Google Earth map. And from there, go to the Google Earth tab to configure it, adding an IP address and the key you get from Google. Do it again if you have a failover server. And then putting start at coordinates where the map will automatically zoom to when you start the map up. There's that camera that we just configured. We're going to move that over to the Google Earth entities. And we can also populate those entities with 3D representations of our locations. I've got a couple in here. We're going to select those. You'll see what those look like in a second. And let's go here after we save this and go look and see what a Google Earth map looks like in the ISOC Control Center software. Over on the left hand side you'll notice in the asset tree there's our Google Earth map we just configured. We're going to go ahead and double click and bring that up. And as you notice it'll zoom straight into the start coordinates that we configured when we set up the system in the admin center. Going up to this uh, address bar at the top we can type in an address or a keyword. Golden Gate Bridge zooms us straight over to San Francisco, where we're looking at an aerial view of the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, very cool tools that are included with the Google Earth Maps. Uh, you can actually change the focal point, the uh, frame of reference, as well as your zoom model. Here we have uh, a 3D model of zoom. You see our camera there. You'll see also there's that uh, 3D representation of the Golden Gate Bridge I had. As so we can zoom around that and change the aspect ratio, just kind of spin around it there for a little while. And uh, let's get tighter in here and see some other things that happen with those cameras. When I hover over a camera, I actually bring up a live view of what's happening with that camera. Uh, getting a little closer here, get a little more room. I hover over it, as I said, there's a live view and single click brings up more information about the camera, what's happening in the status. Now those are very nice, you know, live view kind of tools to use Google Earth for, but there's also a way to actually bring up Google Earth as part of your alarm management uh, of your system. And uh, we're going to show that here as uh, we bring up a different tile layout. This one's going to have room for our, uh, our map. Also, I've armed a tile over there on the right-hand side for viewing of our alarms. We go to the Google Earth tab as part of our plugin, and we're going to activate zone on alarm. There it is with a checkbox. Let's get a little tighter in here and get a little bit closer view of what's actually going on. So you can see I've got the... Uh, the tile with the map in it. I've also got an armed tile for content and that's going to have some things happen to it when I activate the alarm here uh, with a live pop-up of cameras. That's a lot of the part of what happens usually in the DVTEL alarm management but as I activate the alarm you see that there's a lot more that happens when I add Google Earth. I automatically spin to the area of interest. I've focused that camera. It's actually now wrapped in red showing that it is the camera and alarm. I still have the live view pop up in the upper right hand corner and I have the pop up in the lower right hand corner. Of course, I got that uh, live view pop up when I hover over the camera. And we're really just scratching the surface of what we can do with DVTEL's advanced mapping features and the Google Earth plugin. For more, visit www.dvtel.com. 